All right, we are live. We are live. Who is out there? We're gonna give you just a minute. You excited about this? Uh, sure. I'm excited about this. You guys have been waiting for a while. Those of you that have followed through Vlogmas, anyway, Vlogmas was over on the vlog channel, except for day one. Day one we did on this channel. Oh. Yeah, because we had to make the announcement that Vlogmas had started. So a lot of you found your way over there, but some of you didn't. And some of you missed day one's code word because you didn't realize it was on this channel. <laughs> so you were able to go back and find it. All right, we have a few on there. Marie, we, uh, Christine, we just saw your question about the time zone, so I'm glad you got that answer. And there is Jennifer. Hello, hello. Daisy Cutter is here. Oh, the most beautiful couple on YouTube. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. That is very, very nice. Going to give you guys just a minute to get here and get signed on before we get started. There is Miss Bling It On Pat, or Bling It On People. You've changed your name on here. And Brenda is here. Hello, Brenda. And Janine and Melinda. Hello, hello. Glad you guys could join us. You know what I totally forgot to do? They have the new tab on YouTube now, the community tab. Yep. I forgot to make the announcement there for people that don't have Instagram. Hmm. But it still should notify. It should still notify them because if they're subscribed to the channel, it'll, it should notify. If you click the bell, don't forget to click that little bell because it'll notify you at times like this when we're live or anytime that a video is posted. There is Carrie. And I can't, can you see that name? I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Carrie and Connie. <laughs> And Mary, hello, Jennifer is frozen. Yeah, what about this weather? We're even cold down here. It's cold. <laughs> Did you guys see the picture? I know I put it on Instagram. Can't remember if I put it on that community tab where there was even water in the dog bowl. Ice? I mean, yeah, what did I say? Water? I, yeah, ice. <laughs> and you had- They're responsible pet owners. Yes, there's <laughs> water in his bowl. <laughs> That's true, but did you see you have a pair of pants that was over the rail on the porch because you had been working outside? Mm -hmm. They were frozen because the dew had gotten on the pants. So when Bub and Berto walked outside the other night, they were literally frozen. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so it's been cold down here too. Oh my goodness, this has been a monster storm. Matter of fact, it even looked like a hurricane when you looked at it on the uh, satellite thing. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Okay, good. So, Miss Bling It On Patch, she doesn't have Instagram, but she got the notification. Good, good, good. Oh, Christine, you guys have been below zero in Nebraska? Oh, wow. Negative eight for Carrie today. There is Teresa. Hello, Teresa. Negative ten where Daisy is. Yeah, Gunner has been enjoying the extra snuggles. That's for sure. There's Melinda. Hello, Melinda. We've been bringing Gunner in all week because it's been dropping so cold at night. And uh, he he's enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. He's enjoyed snooping around. <laughs> he doesn't like whenever he has to go to Bub's room. If he gets in trouble, like when he goes in the kitchen, we don't let him in the kitchen. Kitchen's not for dogs, right? Nope. <laughs> At least not here. <laughs> and so anyway, when he goes in the kitchen, we've been trying to teach him to stay out. So if he goes in there and doesn't back out, Bub will go put him in his room for just a minute, kind of like learning. And so when he has to go in Bub's room for that few minutes, like five minutes, like a little time out, but he is starting to learn because now when he gets close, we can go, eh, and he'll stop and he'll back up. So he's learning, he's learning, but yeah, he's like, he cuddled up with, were you awake last night when he snuggled with Kristen? Mm -hmm. He yep. got down on the floor and just, he laid his head on her little lap and went to sleep for, I don't know, he was still asleep when you went to bed. Yeah. Yeah, because I forgot you were up. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah, he's been loving it. The kids have been loving it too. Uh, Miss, Miss Pat says you, you are a funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> he is a funny guy. <laughs> uh, let's see. There is Cheryl. Nine degrees there. Jennifer, four degrees. That's a balmy oh, 36 well, here. Huh? It's a balmy 36 here. Yeah. We're a toasty 36 down here. Thank you, Daisy. I actually have a get ready with me that should be up on the channel. Let's see, what's today? Friday. That may be up on Sunday for you guys. I filmed this look today, so be watching for that. 
and there is Raina. Hello, hello. All right, so we, we will go ahead and get started. It's going to take us a little while. I've got my little notebook here of all the entries. Let's see how many entries there were. 58. Did you get mine? Huh? Did you get mine? <laughs> well, I didn't disclude family, did I? Exclude? <laughs> yeah, what did I say? Disclude. Is that not a word? I don't know. <laughs> well, it is now. Anyway. I've been discluded. Been discluded. Yeah. 58 entries. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. There were several of you who followed along every day and got your little coat. I want to tell you what, though. I got to tell you guys. I think I told you. The kids and I were talking about it. I don't know if any of you girls are watching or not, but I got a series of emails in from some college girls. <laughs> yeah, you told me. And they were in the dorm together. I guess they're all roommates or else they're all in the same dorm. Not exactly sure how, how their sleeping arrangements are, but they would watch the vlogs together. And it kind of brought them a little bit of uh, stress relief during all their final exams. And they would get so excited because when the code word would come, one of them told me they would yell at each other, hurry, get the pen and paper, the code word's on. So that made me so happy, you guys, reading all your emails about how you were watching Vlogmas or what it meant to you and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for sharing that with us. It was really very special reading through it. It made me smile because that's our whole hopes, is to, to bring you guys a little bit of joy, share our family, and share the love of the season. Correct. The greatest season of the year, I think. So that was really fun, reading through all those emails. So girls, if you're watching, thank you for telling me that, and thanks for watching all Vlogmas Long. Whoa, in the negative 30s. Wow, Brenda. Well, I hope that you guys have plenty of food and firewood and all that kind of stuff up there because I've heard a lot of people have already lost power. It's kind of like, good. huh? Not good. No, it's kind of like whenever a hurricane hits down here, except for they're, they're having a winter hurricane sort of up there. Oh, well, thank you, Carrie. That sure means a lot. And we feel very blessed with all of you who watch and comment in the evenings. I, I was a little bit behind on catching up with comments. It took me a while because we're so busy. You guys see that. But we do read them. I read them as they come in. A lot of times I'll read them out loud to them, especially if they're directed for any of the family. And it just means a lot to know that you take time because the holidays are busy. So for you guys to take time out of your day to spend with us, that really is special. And we really do appreciate it. Somebody else just signed on there. It's just BB, so I'm not sure what your name is, but hello and welcome, welcome. All right, I'm going to start cutting these off. You want to read the name? I'll let you read the names. They hear me talk all the time. We're going to go down the list and read the name of all the entries. These are the names over here. Just ignore this column. And uh, what, there was one person trying to see... There's one person on here that actually forgot to include their name. So I'm having to go off of your email, your email ID, which wasn't actually a name. It was like, um, okay, it'll be right here when you get to it. Hi hiatus times hiatus. So you'll know that's you because you should know your email, but I didn't have an, a name to attach to that. But anyway, we're going to read down the list of names. We've checked the email. I even checked again today, even though the deadline was on, was it Wednesday night? I don't the remember. third. I think that was Wednesday night at midnight. We closed it, not accepted anymore. Check the spam folders and all that because every time there's a giveaway, <laughs> somebody messages me that their name wasn't on the list. So I sent a response to every email. If you didn't get a response from me, then that means your email never came through. And I had let you guys know on the announcement video to be watching for a response. So... If you didn't get one, you were supposed to send it in again, and I don't know what happened in cyberspace if it's not there, but yep, we've checked the, uh, the spam folders and all that kind of stuff, and this is the names that we have, so let's go with it. Start, just start reading down. Rebecca Crading, Carrie Decker, Ninju Matthew, Connie Accardo, Pam, is that Kimmerer? That's how I say it. Cheryl that Thomas. Right? Sorry, do what? No, I was just saying, is that right? Oh. You got it. Cheryl Thomas, Kim, what is that? Denny. Denny, Beth Allen, Carol Johnson, Jennifer Launders, Angie Peck, Pat Allred, Jeannie Depew, Susan Baker. I think that's Janine. Oh, Janine? Yeah, I think so. I think. 
Susan Baker, Juliet Banila, Sally Yearington. I think we say that Reina, right, yeah. Reina? I asked you one day on a live. I think it's Reina. Gotcha. Reina Jimenez, mm -hmm. Nessa Angelis, Stacy Vrooman. You said it right. No, wait, no, you didn't, because it's. I asked her when she first started watching the channel. It's like Los Angeles. Oh. So Nessa Angeles. That's Angeles. how she taught me to say it. Like Los Angeles. Or if you're English and you try to say Spanish, it's Angeles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stacy Vrooman, Liliana Pena, Victoria Ruiz, Karen Wirtz, Teresa McDaniels, Mary, where is that? Christopherson. Christopherson. Mm -hmm. Angelina Schaefer, Deborah Foreman. Ooh, wait, uh, don't say this name. Say this name. Daisy Cutter. Got you, Daisy. Teresa Klein. Jacinia. I think that's how you say it. Is that is your last name Tejada? Jacinia Tejada. Not T sure how to say that last name. T e j a d a. But... Yeah. Donna Kaneski. Christine Dillard. I think that's Liana Lindo. Is that it? Liana Lindo. Lindo. It's a deal. Mm hmm. What? Now, this one I'm not sure how to say. I think it's... Rim Ben Salem? I think so, yeah. Amber Hemmert, Julie Murphy, Heidi Neal, Teresa Pinnegar, Bridget Gonzalez. Now, isn't that interesting? I would have looked at that and I would have said Pine Gar. <laughs> Is that because I'm so Southern? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Because you're probably, correct. You are probably right. Pinnegar. Is probably right. I would say because as Southerners, we have to drop pine gar. You know what I mean? Okay, go ahead. Bridget Gonzalez, Kimberly, is that Hall? Yeah. Or Hill? Hall. Loretta Scarver, Anno? Mm hmm. Yasaka? I think that's how you say it. Sahar Evans, Emil. I think that may Intidar. be Emily. Emily. Emily Intadar? I think. Something like that. And I think, I think these girls were the roommates. I think. Either way, we're calling her number 43 from this point forward. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Emily, if that, Emily, if that's not how you say it. Okay. I don't butcher it anymore. <laughs> Heather Osborne, Ella Santian. What is that? That's Messiah K. Andy. Okay. Messiah Andy, Casey Ernest. Ali Zinnia, Donna Moulton, Steph Ossifel, Chloe. Uh, Chloe, C-L-O-E, there was no last name, but your email ID is, it's, it's, it's me, Fluffy. So, you, you, you're the Chloe we're talking about. It's me, Fluffy. Number 51 from this point forward. Yvette Canales? I think so. What is that? Ace. Uh, Ace Yang. Mm -hmm. Your nickname is Ace. Yes, it is. I thought of you when I got that email. Chams. What is that? I think that's Co Coti. Coet Coeti. K O C T E. Yeah. No, K O E T E. Oh, gotcha. Hiatus times hiatus. Elizabeth Hardy. Harding. Oh, I'm sorry. Hardig. 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 Daisy Dominguez. And Danny Jackson. All right, so that's all 58 of you. Okay, yes, yeah, she said we got it right. Raina, that's how I thought that was how it was. Carrie, I bet Walgreens was crazy during the holidays. All right, what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to cut these up. Usually we do these for you on random.org, but we thought we'd do it live this time. Live, live. Yep, we're going to put them in a bowl, and then we're going to draw one out of there. So why don't you chat with the good folks for a minute while I start cutting these up. You got any funny stories to tell us lately? No, nah, I'm not a funny guy. You are a funny guy. <laughs> they even said you're a funny guy. All right, here, I'm going to hand it to you. You fold it and put it in the bucket as I cut. How was it for you during the holidays? How was, how was business out there? Were people crazy? Did y'all have much trouble? What was happening on the streets? People were bad this year. They were naughty. <laughs> so so did, did they get lumps of coal, or is that going to be for next year? No, they got lumps of jail. <laughs> That's what they got. So. so if you're bad around Christmas time, Santa is no longer bringing coal. He's just taking you straight to jail. That's it. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so like what what kind of bad like was it a lot of retail theft was it what was it Bur uh, house burglaries in or the course of one week we including one of the cities in our county had three people get shot one person died so it was a total of three out of the whole county not like three right. and then three in the city right Total so, three. were they just being mean? Was it domestic? Was it drug-related? Was it... One was a drug-related robbery, and the other was a guy who was doing illegal drugs and just went crazy. And shot some people? Yeah, his friends. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> so the moral of the story is don't hang out with somebody who's stoned. <laughs> they might turn on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. So, and what was the third one? Oh, the one person shot two friends. Oh. Yeah. Two friends. So that was the three people shot. Was he also, or she, whatever, also on drugs, or? Yeah, they all were. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, moral of the story there, drugs seems to be the common, uh-oh, you didn't. Lost one. Yeah. Okay, but you caught it. Yeah. All right, we got you, Stacy. We almost dropped you. That Stacy Vrooman, Bru is that how you say that? He caught you, though. Yeah, so, now what about, like, thefts and stuff like that in our county? Was that up during the holidays? Were there burglaries? or at No, the... actually, November was elevated. December was kind of low. Yeah. So, what do you think made November higher? People getting ready for the holidays? Trying to catch people, people getting people Christmas off? money. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what I figured. Oh, my goodness. Well, I tell you what. If people would just do the right thing and set a plan all year and budget their money, they wouldn't get so desperate at the end of the year, right? Right. Yeah. Of course, I know there are some times that it really is just a hard situation no matter how much you buzz it. Budget. Buzz it. What is buzz it? Buzz it. <laughs> well, they were buzzing it. That was the problem. <laughs> they were too buzzed. <laughs> they were too buzzed, yeah. That it really doesn't matter because people lose their jobs and all that. We get it. We know. Sometimes it is really tough, but... Stealing from other folks is never the answer. There's two things in life that I just really cannot stand. There's one. And that is a liar. Thief and a liar. And a thief. That's right. You've heard that many times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't stand people who are dis... Just be honest, you know? Because once you lose somebody's trust, it's so hard for them to ever trust you again. Just be honest. And a thief is the same way. It's like, don't, don't take from others. Just, you know what? If you can't get it for yourself, and trust me, we know we've been there, haven't we? Mm -hmm. where, where you just don't even hardly have a pot to pee in, but... Yeah, not that we stole. Yeah, no. It, you don't have to steal. You just, you know, but nonetheless, my goodness. And so has it calmed back down now this first week of January? Uh, everybody's too cold. Yeah, it has been. It's been cold this week. Oh, my word. But I like it, though, because somebody asked me uh, today, I think it was, if this was abnormal for us. But when we were young, I can remember every day having to get ready to go to work at the bank. And I had to get ice off the windshield. Yeah. So it's it, we just had been missing it for so many years that it feels like it's new. I don't like it. No. Well... I don't like it quite so cold, but I, I have honestly enjoyed the little bit of refreshing. I'm just glad Bub didn't have any soccer games this week. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> By next week, when the, he get, when, the, when the soccer resumes next week, it'll be a little warmer. So it rainy. Oh, it will? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. It is miserable, you guys. If y'all watched Vlogmas, and most of you probably did, because that's why you're here, we had, a, we had at least, well, well, only one game. One game. Yeah. I think there was just one game where one it was raining, yep. and it was so cold. That rain made it even more cold, you guys. Oh, it was so miserable, but the boys had so much fun. They laughed, and even afterwards, but uh-oh, did somebody's name get cut off? I think that was just the screen name, the email thing. Oh, okay. Well, yes, aside. keep it aside in case I need to put it together with it. Um Anyway, the boys were even talking about after the game how much fun that was for them because they loved it, but it was cold. <laughs> it was so cold. So we have been glad there were no games this week. They'll start back up with practices, I think, on Monday. And then how many more games they got? Five or six? There's only five. There's only like five more games left in the season. Not many. And the season will be over, and I'm so sad, you guys, because he's a senior this year, so he'll be graduating, and 
that'll be it for high school anyway. He's hoping that maybe he'll get to play for a college, and that would be awesome if he does. So, anyway, it's been, been a cold one. Yeah, I can remember many days. I can even remember, though, even when the kids were little. Like, there was one Christmas. You remember the year we got them? She got the big Hot Wheels Barbie Jeep. Oh, yeah. And he got the motorcycle. Yep. And so we had taken them outside and set them both up in the Jeep that day. And it was so cold. Their little, the bo their bottom jaws were chattering. <laughs> we, were, we were bundled up with mittens and our hats on and everything. It was so cold. So they didn't get to stay out there very long. But... Yeah, so it used to get cold here. Matter of fact, I used to have to, to cover my plants up. Remember, we have a big old flower bed in the front yard, you guys. One of these days, I'll have to, to show you. Some of you have been around the channel for a while. will remember. You've seen it. It's, a, it's basically a weed bed now. That's about it. <laughs> because whenever we had all the problems with the house, I didn't even worry about outside. But nonetheless, and we had such pretty plants in there and a lot of tropical ones because we have a lot of tropical weather here, but they can't handle any cold at all. We're kind of, we are right on the border of the zones that change for the kind of plants you can put in the ground. And so I would have to put big, you put stakes in the ground all around that bed. And remember we would, we would drape the sheets over mm -hmm. and the blankets. Well, one year, I didn't know the first year I decided to take that big old black plastic Remember that? Oh, yeah. And I put the black plastic, you stapled it to those stakes for me. See, so it was elevated off of the ground, way above the plants. It wasn't even touching the plants, but plastic doesn't breathe. It does not. So, whenever, you know, there's still moisture in the air, even with the plastic there, it actually trapped that moisture in, and it froze every plant I had. Toast. Yeah. It, that was awful. So, the next year, when the, when the spring came around, we replaced those plants, and then I started using the sheets and blankets, and that worked uh, quite nicely. But, it, yeah, it used to get freezing here. We would have, out of the whole season, what would you say the average was for the amount of days? Probably about 10? 10 what? 10 days where we had freezing, where you had to worry about the pump. And the, yeah, hit you know, that most times. Yeah, and so probably about the last four or five years, though, we've had maybe one, if that. This year? No, the last five, about the last four or five years. Uh, we haven't had many. Yeah. So, I guess maybe that's why some of the younger folk don't remember how cold it usually gets here in Florida. We've even had snow. Remember 89? We had ice so bad that the sidewalks at the church were slippery. Yep. And then in 83, it got so cold here in 83, you guys, that we were living up in a little town called Uli. Some of you may have heard of it right outside of Fernandina Beach. And it got so cold that winter that, you know, dishwashers have just a little bit of water that remains on the inside of them, no matter, even when it's not running. And that water inside the dishwasher actually froze inside the house. Yeah. I gotta tell you a secret, what? For real? <laughs> well, go ahead, we'll wait for you. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, he ha he has to run to the bathroom for a minute, you guys, so you, you'll you just have me. All right, well, that'll give me a chance to catch up on some of these comments that came in. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Christine, I agree. Lying is the total worst. I hate to be lied to, for sure, for sure. Okay, so Janine is used to being called Jeannie. All right, so then we kind of got them both there. <laughs> Hey, that's right, Carrie, my, my zebra bowl. You guys know that. Found these one year at Ross. Yeah, Ross is where, where we got those. It's been a while. I don't know if they still have them, but... Okay, let's see. Where else did I leave? Oh, Daisy Cutter is here. Hello, Daisy. Pam is here. Let's see. Starting January 1st. Hey, that's a great idea, Carrie. You know, my uh, father-in-law, when he was living, he used to save all of his loose change like that. You remember that? What? Your dad would save all of his loose change. Yep. And, <coughs> excuse me, they also would take, when they would go grocery shopping, if they used any coupons, they would take the cash from what they would have spent, whatever, they, let's say, <clears throat> if they save ten dollars in coupons that day, they would take the ten dollars out in cash and put it in that jar, and then it, they would use that for vacation. Yep. 
Is that what he did? Yep. Yeah. And so that's how he saved up. And that's, that is a great way to do it because then you can kind of really tell how much you're saving on those coupons and stuff. Yeah. So Carrie, that is a good idea. All right. Let's see here. Janice is here. Hello, Janice. <laughs> I promise not to dip into the jar. <clears throat> yeah. Put it somewhere, put it somewhere that I don't know whatever whatever we keep your hand out of it that that could be a little tempting sometime <laughs> uh daisy bub does want to go to college he has two in mind <clears throat> that he's looking at one of them is southeastern bible school down here southeastern university that is one of the assemblies of god bible schools and if he goes there he'll only be about three and a half hours from home right. he really wants to go there and they have a great soccer program down there they are called fire. The fire. I wish I had some fire. Huh? I wish I had some fire. Yeah, you're a little chilly. Yes. <laughs> and then his second option is Pensacola Christian College is another one he's looking at that has a great soccer program. That's kind of, he's been evaluating who has good soccer programs. And Pensacola, if I'm not mistaken, won the division this year. Or they may have won the championship, the whole championship. Yeah. It's only their second year for soccer, but they have a phenomenal coach, and they're doing a great job. If he goes there, though, that would be about six hours from home. So we wouldn't see him quite as often because he wouldn't be able to come home every weekend from that distance. So that is actually the school. You guys know that they're homeschooled, and we go through Rebecca Academy, which is associated with Pensacola Christian College. It's, it's like, that's like their umbrella. Matter of fact, those of you that have been with the channel for a few years, went to Pensacola Christian College with us for Kristen's graduation. You guys remember that? Beautiful campus. Just love everything about that school. Okay, we just went dim here. I hope that you guys can still see. My phone went a little dim. You're still on charge? I can't tell. It won't let me tell will it be in live, but hopefully. It's on the charger, so if we lose you, sorry guys. But anyway. You can plug and plug it back in? Well, we can try. Let's try that, see if you that'll be work. Able to hear. You're not gonna be able to hear it with it being live. Uh, yeah, mine won't do that. But feel how hot that is. It's a little warm. It'd be all right. Be all right? Okay, hopefully we won't lose you guys. Anyway, that is the college that their home school is kind of associated with that, that is, oversees everything. And if he were to choose to go there, you go, is it, you go three, you pay for three years, you get the fourth year free. Yep. If you were, if you actually went through Abeka Academy and graduated through Abeka Academy, you can attend the college, pay for the first three years and get the fourth year completely free. And the first three years are at a discounted rate for, for Abeka Academy students. So he's kind of looking at that one too because he loves that soccer program, but Southeastern is right down here. It's closer to home. A lot of his buddies are going there and that's really his first love where he would really rather go. So I don't know. We'll just have to wait when it gets closer to the summer and see, see how all that's going to unfold for him. But that's what he has in mind. And I know probably the next question coming from you guys is what is he wanting to study? He wants to study music. He wants to do that professionally. He wants to go into worship ministry. And so that's what he's going to be studying for the guitar and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's see. Debbie Howard is here. Debbie, I don't know if I saw you come in to say hello, but hello. Kim always has a very bitter winter. Marissa is here. Hello, Marissa. Oh, she is here from Fernita Beach. I was just talking about Yuli. Did you hear me? <laughs> Believe it or not, I used to live in Yuli for a little while from 1980, December of 1980, until the summer of 1984. That was my home. Sweet Candy is here. Hello. Let's see. That says Bobby's VSG Journey. Hello and welcome. All right. They can see us. I look fine over there with Daisy Cutter and Jennifer. All right. Everybody is saying they can still see. So I don't know why my phone went dim. Did you notice that? No, it just, it, it just like went dim. Like somebody turned the, the light setting down. Susan Baker is here. Hello, Susan.
Oh, now that's a good idea. There's a movie called Mr. Church. You ever seen it? Mm -hmm. She says it has Eddie Murphy in it, and he would save the money from coupons in the movie, too, and that's how he paid for college. Huh? That's a good idea. Wish we'd have thought about that when the kids were little. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So I think we're all caught up. Okay. We've got them all in there. All 58 of you guys. Gonna give it a good shake here. I think by now most of you have had time to come on. Hopefully, if not, you'll find out via email if you're the winner. And let me go ahead and preface this by saying there were a couple of you had, who had messaged in from other countries and also the girls in college. Their mail gets kind of confused in the dorm. Sometimes it makes it to the wrong room. <laughs> and then some of them who are over in other countries, the mail gets delayed. And somebody even said that sometimes their mail gets gone through and contents might not always be there. Mm -hmm. So a few of you had asked if we could do digital gift cards instead, either to Amazon or somewhere else. And yes, we can. So whoever's name happens to be drawn tonight, if you would rather us not mail the Visa gift card, if you would rather have like the $100 Amazon card or some other way that we can research to give you a digital gift card, then we can absolutely do that. Or maybe if you have a favorite store, maybe you have something in mind, say at Best Buy or, you know, I don't know, wherever, Ulta, wherever, ladies, wherever you may want to shop with that money, we can do a store gift card as well. The prize was just to get you $100 and we knew we couldn't send cash. Nope. So it, it doesn't matter to us how you would prefer to get it. So whoever, whoever wins, if you have a preference, then we'll talk about that via email and get you get you your gift that way. Because I don't know, some of these ladies might have some of them pretty palettes they want. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe there's a guy watching out there and he wants to go shopping at Lowe's or Home Depot for a nice new drill. True. Yeah, so we, we can do whatever you guys want to do. All right, so you ready? I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to let you draw. Nice. <laughs> so it's all, it's all your fault. <laughs> it's all his fault. Blame, blame him. Blame him. Uh, let's do a drum roll. <laughs> Sheena is here. Hello, Sheena. Oh, my drum roll is shaking the phone. All right, number 39, Kimberly Hall. Kimberly Hall. Congratulations, Kimberly. We should we should have had some party horns. Can't put it up closer. Can you guys see that? Kimberly Hall. Congratulations, Kimberly. That is you. So I'll be contacting you via email in case you're not watching right now and uh, get all the details from you. And like I said, work out exactly how you want to get that prize. That's so fun. I love this giveaway every year. I want it next time. Oh, you do? <laughs> I do. I have so much fun with it. Don't you? I do. Because we love to be able to bless you guys back every chance that we get. And really weren't able to do a lot of giveaways throughout this year. Things were just a little more challenging for us this year than in years gone by. But we love the Christmas one because it's such a fun time of year. And if I could, I would just send them all something. But unfortunately, we can't do that. So anyway, thank you, Kimberly. And thank all of y'all. There were 58 of you. Who, who entered the giveaway, and many, many more of you guys who watch the vlogs every day. So thank y'all for hanging out with us. I know sometimes you don't really like it because you don't like the camera. Yeah, no. <laughs> I almost had to strap you down tonight. Yep. <laughs> and baby girl doesn't really like the camera. She's hiding. She's hiding right now, yeah. But you guys are good sports about it. Aren't they good sports? Y'all are good sports about it. So I try to respect it. That's why you kind of see me more than all the rest of them, and I'll tell them. They don't want to just see me. Get over here. So, but they, you're good at sport. I try. Yeah, you're a good sport. So it's always so much fun. All right, let's see what I missed here. Now, I did have a few people that have asked, are we going to keep the vlogs going? The vlog channel is there a year round, and we were vlogging every day until up about, I guess it might have been around June. I stopped vlogging daily in June only because the views really had dropped off there for a while. And I don't know if it's just because it was summer, people were getting busy, didn't have as much time to watch or whatever, but those vlogs take forever to edit, don't they? Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> they take matter of fact somebody asked me because we have the new channel divine health for those of you that don't know that yet we've got divine health that we started this week where i'm showing you my food diary every day for transformation tuesday showing you exercises and stuff like that and uh somebody had commented on the first one it was on like a four minute video and had appreciated the the work and said that I'm, i've heard editing takes forever that one four minute video you guys took me about two hours little over really to get that edited down and last night's took about three <laughs> so it's just a lot of work so when the vlog view started dropping i didn't know okay are people losing interest or is it just that they're really busy because it's summertime during vlogmas the view count was really back up and everybody loves the holidays so people that that don't typically watch a vlog really do like to watch during the holidays because all the lights and the trees and everywhere you go and all that stuff so we do vlog during the year but i can't i can't promise how consistent that will be it, it won't be a daily thing but you may have like a couple weeks here or there maybe a few days in a row and stuff like that but they take a lot of work and and i'm also editing videos for divine design almost every day and now divine health we have the couponing channel for you guys where we show you hauls and deals and then i also have the ministry channel where we do devotionals for you guys i put up a new one this week i don't know how many of you know it's only gotten a couple of views uh the truth about new year's resolutions did you set some mm -hmm. No. You haven't set any New Year's resolutions this no. year? You should watch my video. Maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, so you guys might want to hop over there and check that one. The truth about the, the hardcore truth. Three hardcore truths about New Year's resolutions. Yeah, that was a fun one. So anyway, that's why the vlogs kind of started taking a back seat. Because I only want to put out content that I know you guys want to watch. And I know that it is hard to carve time out to watch. So you have your preferences. And I've been polling you guys on that new community tab. Keep an eye on that. Because that's where I do a lot of the polls. I've asked you questions like how long you like the videos to be. Five minutes or under. Five to ten minutes or longer than fifteen that's where we get all that information from you. So if you're, if you're not yet aware of that, if you click to the home page for Divine Design, there's a little community, it says community right across the top and you can click there. It is kind of like a Facebook news feed, really. It's kind of what that is. And on your phone, you can actually choose, if you have the YouTube app, it has a little, little button up at the top there that you can choose to either show from your subscriptions all of their content are just videos only you want to make sure you hit all content and that'll show you our community tab as well so that's another great way to keep up with you guys all right let's see here what i've missed i get answering these questions and i just go on rabbit trails yeah <laughs> yeah i mean like that's nothing new for you right no <laughs> okay let's see Griptic is asking what was the giveaway? The giveaway was to collect all the code words on the vlogs throughout all of Vlogmas and the winner is receiving a $100 gift card. All right, a bunch of congratulations for Kimberly. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Jennifer says, you're always a winner in her book, Mr. Rose, even if you didn't win today. <laughs> oh, Pam, well, thank you for hanging with us. It is our pleasure to do the giveaway. We love to do it. All right, Sheena, there was a couple messages from you, but it looks like they've been, been edited or, or removed. Let's see. Thank you, Connie. I love it when they all join me on camera, too. So they're pretty good sports. Bub actually loves the camera. He and I kind of have fun fun together with the camera. He's he's not shy. You guys have seen him on the soccer field even with his dance moves. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Nikki is here from Australia. Hello, Nikki. Good day. It's hot over there for her today. What is your temperature over there? We're already down in the 30s, and it is dropping fast. Going to be down to what tonight, 27? 25, I think. 25? I know. For some of you, that sounds like a sauna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for us, that's cold. <laughs> what is the temperature over there in Australia? Because it's y'all summertime right now, right? You guys are like the direct opposite of us, I think. Oh, thank you, Kim. 
Well, thank you, Jennifer. I know there were some of you guys who really do miss it whenever the vlogs don't go up every day. Y'all have been good friends to us, that's for sure. Well, thank you, Carrie. I hope y'all do like that channel over there. It's just it's just like a food diary because I know you guys have been asking, like, what am I, am I eating to show you guys good and bad? Good or healthy food, giving you guys the calorie count just to show you, show you kind of what I'm doing to get this weight off. Thank you, Susan. Uh, Carrie, the chocolate leather bars, <clears throat> they're on Amazon. If you want to go to Amazon.com backslash store backslash Divine Design, I have a link for those uh, leather bars on there. And then I also have a lot of the other stuff that we've ordered through Amazon that we would recommend. Because some things you get, you may not really like. But any of the products that we ever get that we think are good quality for you guys, I always show them in that little store. So that's Amazon.com slash store slash Divine Design. And you can find the links for all those kind of things there. I think the chocolate leather bars are like $26 for a box I forget how many are in the box. Do you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember now. I want to say they came out to like 30 cent a bar or maybe even less. There's quite a few in there. But... Yeah, there's quite a few in there and they're delicious. They're just a good, I mean, they still have like the uh, natural sugars in there. So you don't want to eat too many or you'll keep your sugar cravings high, but it's a healthy alternative for all of us who love chocolate. <clears throat> good night, Daisy. Thanks for joining us. Let's see, they are never followed through. I, I think I might have missed a comment. Not sure. Not sure what you mean there, Susan. Let me know what you're what you're saying there. Oh, check it out. So Sheena's gonna be in Orlando February the 16th through the 19th and wants to know if we might could possibly meet up for lunch somewhere. That sounds doable. What is the you got your phone? No. What 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 days of the week is that? Sheena, will one of those be like a weekend day? Well, Sundays we definitely would not be able to do because of our church responsibilities, but we, we might could do that Saturday. If, if, if a Saturday falls in there, that would be fun. Yes. What are y'all coming for? Are you going to Disney World? Are you coming to visit family? What are you doing down there? Well, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Raina. Oh, she had typos, so that's why she did that. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's Miss Volunteers fan. Hello, hello. How are you? Hope everyone around your, your place is feeling all better now. Hope everyone is all well. <laughs> Five degrees for Debbie. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Mary, there were 58 who actually entered the giveaway. We had 58 of you who entered... That was fun. Yeah, Carrie, those would definitely, they definitely help curb that little sugar craving if you have one to pop one of those in. The, the original ones are 50 calories, and then if you get the dark chocolate, they're 60 calories. So that's not bad at all. And it's it's a little bit like a, ta Wait, have you had one? Mm -hmm. They're kind of like a taffy, just maybe not quite as pulley. A little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it. it's up to its name, chocolate leather. It's a little tough, and it's hard to chew, so it takes you a while to chew it, and I think that's why one is satisfying. Not for a guy. Not for a <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> if you're a guy, one is not going to probably be enough, but you could still have two for 120 calories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's satisfying for me to just have one, but I have to chew on it so long because it's hard. Yep. And so I think by the time I'm done chewing it, it's just like, okay, that was enough. Oh, New Year's resolutions. Gotcha. A lot of them aren't follow through. You're right. But on that video, I give you guys tips how to follow through with them this year. So maybe this year will be a little bit different. Oh, she says everybody's good, but she's tired of being pregnant. I know. When you get to that stage, it's like, okay, enough already. <laughs> uh, she told me you were five months, but was that at the beginning of Vlogmas? Are you six months now? How far are you? Okay, so that's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then you're going to leave on Monday. You're going to Disney, okay. Oh, okay, so she's talking about possibly getting together at Disney Springs, maybe, that Saturday. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, we'll look at the calendar, and if we don't already have anything on there, then we'll go ahead and put you down. Does that sound like a plan? Sure. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and put that down for that. Do you remember what those dates were? Because whenever I, whenever I close this out, it's going to get rid of all these messages. 16th through the 19th? Yeah, February 16th through the 19th. So whatever, whatever the Saturday is of that weekend. We'll check both of our calendars, Sheena, and make sure nothing is going on. That would be fun. Have you guys ever been to Disney? Have you been to Disney Springs? It used to be called Downtown Disney. They've changed the name. It is a pretty place in there. They, they're a little on the expensive side. What? So just be aware of that. Everything in Disney Springs. Everything on Disney property, period. Yeah, it's a little pricey. <laughs> it's a little pricey. So if you're coming down there, just make sure you got your budget set for that. That's for sure. I love Disney as far as like the cleanliness of the properties and that kind of stuff. Top notch, probably unmatched in the world, really. All all the Disney facilities, yeah. but you pay for that with your ticket prices, your food prices, and all that kind of stuff. You pay for it, but it, it is an experience because it is so clean and the environment is nice. All to go see the big rat. Yeah, <laughs> to go see a rat. <laughs> That rat has a pretty clean house. You sure does. <laughs> oh, all right. Sure, he lives in a castle. <laughs> yeah, really. He lives in a castle. Uh, I've, I've never eaten at Disney Springs, so I'm not familiar with any of the pizza places, but I'm sure every, everything there is good. So, I'm game. yeah, he loves pizza. He loves pizza. And I'll save up some of my calories. Hopefully by then, that will be after Valentine's Day. So I told him this mm -hmm. week, my new goal is to hit Wonderland by Valentine's Day. Wonderful. <laughs> good, good play on words there. <laughs> so if I do it and I can save up my calories, then I might can have a piece of pizza there too. Then I can call you Wonder Woman. Ah, look at there. See, he's got it, girls. He's got it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was good. And fast, like, you're on your toes. No, I'm on my butt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, Pam, thanks for joining us. Good night. All right, let's see here. Okay, yeah, she's six months along. I thought, I thought it was about six months by now. She's due March the 24th, four days before your birthday. That would be pretty cool if y'all shared the same birthday. Your mom and your sister did. Was it, was it one of your sisters born on your... In May. Yep. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. They shared a birthday too. Oh, okay. So they went to Disney Springs a couple years ago. And this year the kids are going to be old enough for Magic Kingdom. Nice. Yeah. Make sure you message me those dates so I don't forget. I don't, he won't probably forget, but I may forget. All right. It's two days after Valentine's. Two days after Valentine's Day. Yeah, so that should help me remember. Yeah. Okay, Dara. Hello, Dara. How are you? Oh, really? Okay, so sh her stepson and his wife just had their first baby. Cool. Oh, how nice is that? Was it a Christmas baby? How close to Christmas was that baby born? How neat. What a special time of year. Really? Okay, if so, Sheena, then that is new. You can take lunches into Disney now? Wow. Because you used to couldn't. That's why we always bought season tickets to SeaWorld. All right. Because SeaWorld would let you bring in bag lunches, and they had a big picnic area, playground for the kids, right. where you could go and you could have your the food that you brought in. But Disney never would let you because Disney wanted that money. <laughs> and there were a lot of people that complained about it because Disney's supposed to be a family park, but it wasn't so family friendly as far as budgets no. are concerned. And so even whenever our kids were little, when we went to Disney, we had asked about bringing in packed lunches and they refused to let you bring food into that park. You could even, even bottled water. The only exception was if you were a diabetic and you had to have food throughout the day. If you had a medical condition, but you had to have a medical card to show that. And that's the only way they would let you bring food or drinks into that park because of course they wanted the money. So I'm glad to hear that's changed, Sheena. That's that's a good change because one bottle of water there was three bucks. It's expensive. And that was 20 years ago or close to it when Kristen was little, 15, mm -hmm. 16 years ago. So that's good news because that was really the major deciding factor with why we always got the SeaWorld tickets because we could go down for the day, spend a family day, pack our lunches, and it really didn't cost us hardly anything but gas. Right. 
So good. That's really good. If that's the case, definitely pack those lunches, girlfriend, because it'll save you a ton of money. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you did, Dara. Or I, I've asked you that before. Is it Dara or Dara? I say Dara because I'm a Southern girl. You know, we, pr we pronounce everything the long way. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sheena is still at on her diet loss, and you've lost 27 pounds. That is awesome, Sheena. Very good. Oh, well, thank you so very much, January thir or Jan 34, and happy 2018 to you, too. This year is off to a great start. Okay, so Julie shares her birthday with her granddad, who turned 50 on the day she was born, and now her baby could, is four days, she could. Wow. That could be three generations on the same birthday. <laughs> born the 28th, so almost a Christmas baby. So fun, so fun. Debbie is here from Palm Harbor. Hello. That is really cool. Now, Kim, how close, do you live near Disney? Or do you have season passes or do you just visit? Dara, okay, I, that's how I said it. So glad I'm right there. <laughs> Very fun, very fun. We haven't been to Disney though in a long time. A long time. Been a, I don't even remember. The last time that we were at Disney, Bub was probably about six. We actually went to MGM. Yeah, it was MGM on Disney property, but not the actual Magic Kingdom. I don't even remember the last time I we went to Magic Kingdom. I don't either. Been a long time. Last time we were at the actual Magic Kingdom might have been whenever you got in for free because of all the fires we had. That was in 98. In 98, we had a ton of fires that ripped up uh, 95, up and down 95 throughout the whole state. And Central Florida was hit pretty hard around that corridor there. And they offered all, all of the emergency personnel throughout the whole state to come with their families for free. It's kind of like a benefit because you guys were working nonstop. Mm -hmm evacuations like I remember I had a suitcase full of like our most prized possessions the videos of when the kids were born all of our important papers and pictures I just kept it in the trunk for weeks there because the fires would get so close you never knew when you were gonna have to leave home so that was one of the ways that Disney appreciated all that y'all did as emergency personnel and that may be the last time I'm pretty sure SeaWorld did it too didn't it yeah I think all, almost all the theme parks down here had done that and so we took advantage of it that year to go to the Magic Kingdom. And I think that may have been the last time. Promise. Kristen was like eight or nine months old. She was little. She was still little enough. We were feeding her baby food from the jar. And I would have to stop every so often to nurse her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now we've been back down there to Disney property for MGM and Epcot. But I think that was last time in the actual Magic Kingdom. Let, I, I know so many of you guys love Disney, and there's whole channels that are dedicated to Disney, but as a Floridian, and when you've been there a couple of times, to me, the Magic Kingdom kind of loses, because there's not like a lot of theme park rides. It's not, you know, like you can go down to Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure if you're in for the rides, because the Magic Kingdom just really doesn't have that. No. It's kind of more, whenever I was young, when I was a teenager, I used to kind of call it an old people's park. Mm. <laughs> because you kind of just walk around looking at everything and the rides they have like Tomorrowland and all that. It's kind of more, anybody could do it at any age. Like it's not a thrill ride, so to speak, except Splash Mountain. And then you have Space Mountain, What's... Thunder Mountain, Thunder Mountain, not Splash Mountain, Thunder Mountain. And... That's really all they had that was like thrilling, mm -hmm. you know, back then in the day. So I know they've added more stuff to make it more. If you're a little teeny kid, you love it, like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride or Peter Pan. Well, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea was always really cool. Yeah, and so was Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. I loved Pirates of the Caribbean. That one was a fun one. So there were rides if you were really, really small. But those are only for adults. Yeah, or older. But for That's because it was rated R. <laughs> he got jokes. He got jokes. Oh, that was funny. But as a teenager, I mean, how did you feel as a teenager? Was it thrilling for you as a teenager? 
I always had fun when I went because it was always clean, the food was always good, and we love Space Mountain. Yeah, but and the bumper cars, not the bumper cars, the go karts. Yeah, but was it something that you were like, like, did you just want, oh, I want to go to Disney this weekend? As a teenager, was it something that you just wanted to do more as so when you were younger? Yeah. I mean, I probably lost its zeal a little bit yeah. as I got older, but I always had fun when we went. Yeah, you have fun once you get there. Like, I'm not saying it's not fun or anything. I'm just saying for me, the draw wasn't there for me. Like, even our kids, our kids are like, they love Islands of Adventure and they love the... Uh, Universal Studios, because they've got more rides there. They love Busch Gardens. Busch Gardens has a lot of rides, and they they like the rides at SeaWorld, but even SeaWorld only has a couple. Right. SeaWorld has uh, Crack... No, it's Kraken at SeaWorld or Busch Gardens? That's they would be able to tell us. SeaWorld. I think that is SeaWorld. SeaWorld has two now, I think. But back in the day, SeaWorld was pretty much just walking around, kind of like... Manta is the other one. Yeah, Manta. Kind of like a glorified zoo. Yeah, I uh, like that. Hmm? I like that. Yeah, I did too. SeaWorld was always my favorite. I used to want to be an oceanographer, you guys. Yeah, y'all remember that. Maybe that'll be a bonus question in an upcoming giveaway one day. What I what I wanted to be when I was a kid. That would have been cool. We both talked about being able to swim with Shamu. Yeah. That would be fun. They don't let them now, though. Because they're eating people. <laughs> yeah, they quit letting them. They quit letting them uh, swim with Shamu. That that was kind of sad to see that go because for years they swam with the whales. And when you went down there, the shows were incredible, yeah. especially the night shows. Mm -hmm. They would turn the lights off and they would have laser lights down there on the water. And when they did those night shows, they were incredible. Love SeaWorld. I like SeaWorld way better than Disney. But you like Disney. You 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 like Disney growing up. You just were a big Disney fan. Yeah. I never was a real huge Disney fan at all. I liked SeaWorld better. And I like Busch Gardens. I like them all. <laughs> you like all the rides and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, Sheena, that was kind of a long, long little trail there to say. Hope you guys have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Sheena doesn't live very far from Wild Adventures. Oh, really? Yeah. We've been there a couple times. Yeah, we've been there. All right, let's see what I missed here. Juliet Benilla. Beni, is it Benilla or Benilla? I know sometimes the double L's get like a Y sound. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Kim has family down in Sarasota. Okay, I got you. All right, good night, Dara. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. She's got kids who are 16, 14, and 4 and wants to hopefully get to Disney. All right, let's see. Sheena says, telling you, she wears a bracelet with her flag and the thin blue line on her left wrist. Nice. And in my back, the blue bracelet on my right wrist. So please continue to stay safe. Always. <laughs> That's really cool, Sheena. All right, Julie says, three generations would be all. I think that would be so cool if the baby had shared y'all's birthday. That is so cool about those birthdays, Julie. <laughs> they try to come down here every year to thaw out from the winter in Minnesota. They come to Disney. <laughs> yeah. That's a good place to, especially Sarasota is so beautiful down there. That's a fun area if you stay with family. Linda is here. Hello, Linda. Blessings to you too. Thank you for those kind words. Good night, Marissa. Thanks for joining us. By the time I read some of these, y'all may be gone, but if you watch the replay, you'll... There's Nessa. Hello, Miss Nessa. How are you? We were just talking about Disney World. Nessa's not too far. Nessa's over in Tampa. That's probably about an hour and a half from Orlando. There is Susan. Hello, Susan, and Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. Good night, Janine. Hope you have a good weekend, too. And there is Miss Frances. Hello. Are you staying warm up there in New York? <laughs> it's cold up there. Oh, my. I saw pictures rolling in last night on Facebook of all the water. And you know what my first thought was? They've got water coming in like when the hurricane comes. And it's like a storm surge. They have water that's coming in all up the coast up there. Just like a hurricane. But I thought of 
the day after tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> How many of you have seen that movie? Because it was based in New York. A lot of it was in New York. Happened in New York. In and Manhattan. Yeah, and when the water came rolling in, do you remember that? How yeah. the water came out of the ocean and just like flooded all the streets right there? So they might want to start heading south. <laughs> Saying. And then it, then it got, I told I told the kids, I was joking with the kids, I says, well, you know, they have all those rumors that they can control parts of the weather. Maybe maybe the day after tomorrow was telling us something. <laughs> we, have, we have fun joking with that today. Global warming <clears throat> at its finest. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Francis wanted to be a dolphin trainer, too. Oh, you did? I haven't been to Atlantis yet, and I want to go there. And even uh, the uh, Dolphin Park at SeaWorld, we Discovery haven't... Discovery Cove. Yeah, we haven't been there either, but I would love to go swim with those dolphins. That would be so fun. My little brother, he's gotten to do that down at Atlantis, actually, and they had such a great time. There is Amy Dodaro. Hello, Amy. Uh, Susan says, always in her prayers, too, for safety. Awesome. She Thank has you. a blue bulb and a green bulb for police and veterans. Cool. That's nice. That is very nice, Susan. Oh, thank you, Juliet. Hope you guys like that review. I, I really am liking that concealer a lot. I hope you guys like that review. I thought I'd hurry up and throw that up there instead of waiting for Wednesday for worth a buck because I know a lot of people are asking about those concealers. Francis is hibernating. <laughs> and Linda is, she's been inside all day too. Yeah, it is cold up there, you guys. Susan keeps those lights on until she goes to bed every night. Cool. That's really nice. I've never heard of the green light. That's neat. Yeah, that is neat. Uh, let's see, Sheena, they're going to Disney to celebrate Ava's birthday. Oh, very nice. My birthday's in October. Yeah, your birthday's in October. Let's see. Lily is here from California. Hello, Lily. How are you? Yeah, uh, Francis, I knew you were in the Bronx. Um, is it, how close are you to the, how close are you to the water? Like where the, that water is coming in. Is that around near where, where New York is hitting the coast up there? Or is that more south or more north? I didn't see exactly where it was happening. I just knew that the water was coming in up that way somewhere. There is Wendy. Hello, hello. Uh, Juliet wants to know how Gunner is doing. Gunner is doing great. As a matter of fact, Bub is fixing to bring him in. He, he, we take him outside still to eat and to get some exercise bub takes him out even even in the freezing weather <laughs> they go out there and they run around and he likes to crunch where that ice is out there on the grass just to get some exercise because i think he gets a little cabin fever inside mm -hmm. because there's just not a lot to do inside so he still takes him out a couple of times at night but he does pretty good he doesn't like it when it's time for bub to go to bed because he does love to snuggle doesn't he oh yeah yeah he does so that's you know you can hear him whimpering <laughs> do you ever hear him when you get up you get up earlier than the rest of it because he'll whimper remember. at night whenever whenever it's time to go to bed but he's doing good and the kids just love him He's just fit. Right? He's such a mild-mannered dog. Yeah. He really is. He's given us no trouble at all. When you have steak in your hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that did teach him to sit. Oh, yeah. I think y'all got to see that on one or two of the vlogs where my mom had sent home some meat after Christmas. And Bub was using that to teach Gunner to sit. And now he sits right away when he hears the word. It, it worked wonderful. So now Bub is working on Paul. Yeah, even even Kristen sat down with him last night. Was trying to work on Paul. So you gotta do lay down. Yeah, I got to do lay down. So he's he's coming along quite nicely. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's three degrees in Indiana right now. Mmm. <laughs> I think Florida temps should swap with us up on this part. Uh uh. Yeah. <laughs> If it did, I would head that way. <laughs> All right, Susan. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night, Nessa. Thanks for joining in. 
Yeah, Debbie, I saw that. And we're going to be hitting right back up there, too. We're going to be having some pretty warm temperatures next week, too. Uh, back in the 70s. Yeah. Kim's husband's birthday is October 14th. Cool. Yours is? 16th. Yeah, so they're real close right there together. <laughs> Sheena thinks you're hinting you want to go to Disney for your birthday. Yes. <laughs> I want to go on a cruise for my birthday. I can do that. You take me to Atlantis, then I'll take you to Disney. Nice. <laughs> there is, did we say that Maritza? Is that how you say your name? That is beautiful. Hello, hello. And you are here in Florida too? Well, thank you very much for watching the videos. Where in Florida are you? All right, now Linda is in Manhattan, and they live near the water, but none is coming up there yet. Okay, well, that is good news. All right, so out in the Bronx, she's very far from the water, so she doesn't have to worry about that. So that's good news. Oh, well, we are blessed to have Gunner. He has been a good addition to the family. You know what? We haven't even tried yet, Francis, only because my friend who gave us the, the mattresses was able to send us some sheets on Sunday. So we haven't been looking for any more sheets right now, but I have that Zoo Lily saved on my computer because I knew you had sent me that link, and you also sent me that email with those other good deals on there too. Thank you so much for that. I love whenever you guys keep me in the loop. They're having a sale though, nineteen ninety nine for some king sheets. Wow. Yeah, we might better go ahead and get them while, the, while there's a good sale going on. Thanks for the tip. You did? Now, see, I didn't know cats could be trained. That's pretty cool, Jennifer. She taught her cat to sit. Oh, what do those things work? What? Your glasses. They work really well. Why? Do mm. you need them? That makes everything worse. For you. Oh, boy. <laughs> but they work for me. <laughs> they work for me. <clears throat> Okay, so Marit Maritza, am I saying that right? She is in Tampa. Very cool. There's a few of you here from Tampa tonight. Really? So uh, Carrie had somebody come through her checkout that has a son in Alaska. Said Alaska is actually warmer right now than Indiana. Golly. Wow. Because they got igloos. It may be. <laughs> Ah, Sheena said a good compromise. Since I want to go on a cruise and you want to go on to Disney, we could just do a Disney, Disney cruise. cruise. <laughs> ah. Both. Huh? I'd rather do both. Yeah. Uh, Juliet says that their weather there feels like a cool summer evening in California. That would be nice because right now it's cold here. Because <laughs> we're being warmed by the fires. Oh, yeah. How close are those fires to you, Juliet, by the way? That has been awful. I have been watching that on the news. Those poor people over there. I mean, they are just, some of them have lost everything. Yeah. That is just, I tell you, all over the world, you've got the fires going on, these winter storms, and we had all the hurricanes that hit here in the south. I mean, it's just been like one thing after another this year, you guys. So much tragedy all around. But I'm In Florida, we've had our own natural disaster. Yeah. It's so cold, the iguanas are falling out of the trees. Oh, that's true. Did you guys see that? Mm -hmm. It was on the news. In South Florida, it has gotten so cold down there. I didn't even know they had hit freezing temperature. It wasn't freezing, but it was cold enough because they're cold-blooded. Yeah. They don't actually freeze, but they get so cold, they just freeze up and bloop, <laughs> fall out of the tree. I mean, people are just walking around and like these iguanas are just falling in the street. That's right. <laughs> Oh my goodness. They're fine though. Like, I'm not laughing. I wouldn't be laughing if they were hurt. The iguanas are fine. It's not hurting them. It's just you walk. Yeah, remember that? Remember that movie? What was the movie where it was like, the sky is falling? Uh, Chicken Little. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine walking around and all those iguanas falling out of the trees down there? Oh my goodness. Now, it's been cold in South Florida before, and I never remember hearing of that. That's because the iguanas have recently invaded South Oh, Florida. is that what's happened? They used to always be there. Oh. They're just like the pythons. They're kind of coming in and taking over. So then apparently somebody had some pets and they got out. Yeah. 
Ah, yeah, because that's what happened with all those snakes down there, too. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Kim is going on a country, the country cousin cruise for her birthday. That is really fun. To the Bahamas. Ah, very nice. We did, Jennifer, we did check Ollie's for sheets, and our Ollie's here didn't have any. Well, they had king. <clears throat> they did have regular king. But we were looking for cow king, <clears throat> and we couldn't find those. Yeah, and Miss Judy told us that she, that the regular size king fits this one because they have the deeper pockets, but this is a little bit thinner. And so, like, the extra room that would be for the pocket actually stretches. So, so yeah, we'll have to try that because Ollie's did have the regular king sheets. 42 degrees in Northeast Texas. Michelle is here from Robertsdale, Alabama. She's 30 minutes from the beach and it is cold. <laughs> yeah, Alabama's had some snow. Uh, Daisy Cutter showed some pictures and y'all had beautiful snow. I don't know how close the two of you guys are together, but she had snow at her place in Alabama. And she'd have thought it was a joke. Girlfriend, we're going to take you up on that one, the, the Disney cruise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that should have been Country Booze Cruise, not Country Cousin Cruise. Did I say it wrong? Maybe I said it wrong. <laughs> I don't know where, where I got that. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, nice. Francis is going to take a Disney cruise in October to Bermuda. Cool. Yeah. Woo, a negative 14 for the holidays in Illinois. And they have 55 now where they are. That's a, that is a big difference. That, that was a negative 14. I might have said that wrong. Wow, 20 bucks on eBay. I haven't even thought eBay, did you? We did check what? Amazon for the sheets. eBay? I didn't think about that, but they had some really good deals on Amazon. Yeah. But Miss Judy gave us those sheets, so yeah. I quit looking. Sharon is here. Hello, Sharon. Okay, Juliet says the fires are not near her, that's so that's good. good. <laughs> Christine says she's not going to go anywhere. Christine, you need to somehow find your way to Florida, and we'll all do a cruise. We've always joked anyway, doing a Divine Design cruise. That would be so fun. Oh, it's spell check gets me too. <laughs> you know what, Carrie? I was worried about getting seasick because I get real bad motion sick in a car. But I did not. We bought, what was it? It wasn't Dramamine, was it? Well, it was. It was just Walmart's version of Dramamine. Okay, the great was, value brand. Yeah, same, same contents. Yeah, and you're supposed to take it so many hours before. I think we took it like <clears throat> four hours before. Something like that. And then we just took it every day. And I did not get sick at all. No problems. Not at all. So I was I was really worried about that too. Because I can even get sick even if I just go out in a little boat. <laughs> when we've been out in a little boat and you hit those the wakes of the waves, ugh, I can feel so nauseated. But I didn't have any problem on the cruise. He is doing well, Francis. Um, she's asking about Bub's ankle. His ankle actually hasn't been bothering him at all on Christmas break. So we will see whenever... They start back practice on Monday. We'll see. He's been playing some soccer with his buddies, but not like a real hardcore, aggressive practice practice or game. But he hasn't had any problems with it. So thank the good Lord for that. He's doing well. Except now he's got an injury on, on his ribs. Did he tell you that? Mm -hmm. Somebody like elbowed him in the ribs at one of the games. And now whenever he breathes real deep or moves certain ways, that's hurting him. So not Maybe. sure. Maybe bruised. Could be. So... I tell you what, soccer is a rough sport. <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. I totally misunderstood you. Sheena thought that the iguana thing was a joke. Oh, no. No, it's real. <laughs> it's real. Do the search. You'll see all kinds of pictures of iguanas. Even one laying by the pool. What'd you do? I just deleted it and blocked it. Uh... <clears throat> $400 million jackpot. Ooh, could you imagine getting $400 million? 
Wow. I would own my own cruise line. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's why she said, then you could buy a boat. Oh. I didn't see that comment. So. Some people do like to wear patches for the seasickness, and they say they work wonderfully well. They do. So, yeah, soccer is a rough sport. That is for sure. And it's actually so much funner to watch to me now that now that we've been watching it so much with Bubba, even on TV, because it's like constant fast pace. Right. I've always loved football. I was a cheerleader. You guys know that. And so, I mean, football is just a southern sport. Like, that is what you do on Friday nights in the South. Football. It's all about football. And I still love football. I like to watch football. But I tell you, soccer is so much, it's like constant. You know, you don't have your timeouts. You no don't breaks. have to, yeah, and you don't have to stop for the downs. Right. You know, and all that. It's just constant movement. And I think I'm enjoying that more. Yeah. I like my football. Yeah. <laughs> On a collegiate level. Yeah. Yeah, he likes college football. <laughs> Yeah, we felt the we felt the movement just a little bit on the cruise. They do have the equalizers that keep them pretty stable, but there was one night when we were out at sea, there was a little storm that came up. Yeah. It had been raining, not nothing real severe, like not like a hurricane storm or nothing. But we did feel the boat rocking that night. We did. But you didn't even notice it till like we got off of the boat. And when we got off of the boat and we're and walking you kind of feel it. Yeah. It was like then you were feeling the movement because of lack of movement. Yeah, because your body gets accustomed to it. Yeah. So, but yeah, you really, we couldn't feel it just a little bit when that storm rolled up and not for even very long. Mm -hmm. Not for very long. But it was enough, it was enough of wind, it did move the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it did move the boat. So, <laughs> oh, it was fun though. I think that's probably one of the funnest vacations. Like, I really want to, we didn't take the kids on that one. It was just the two of us. Neither one of them really at the time. Well, one of them didn't want to go on a boat, period. And was that Bub or her? I think that might have been Bub at that time. Said so he so. he would not want to get on a boat out in the middle of the ocean. But now I think they both would kind of like to do it. I'd like to take them, take them on one. It is just, it's so relaxing, you guys. Balcony. Yeah. We went Royal Caribbean and loved it. Like, I don't have enough good things to say about it. We didn't have any negative experience at all, did we? Well, the only thing is the table for dinner. What about that it? we were supposed to get? We were supposed to get our private table because it was our anniversary. Remember? Oh, yeah. And they, we even asked for that in the reservation. Yeah, that is and true. That was it, but yeah, they had they a mix up, up with the table. So we just ended up getting a later dinner, mm -hmm. and we ended up getting a private table. So it yeah. worked out. Yeah. So that was the only negative, if you want to call it that. Yeah. So. I loved Everything it. Was great. I had a great time on that. We went to Cancun, not Cancun. Cozumel. I wish, girl, I wish. Cozumel. We did go to Cozumel and Key, Key West. West. Mm -hmm. And then we we're supposed to go to the Bahamas. But we got rained out. That was the day it rained. Yeah. And they couldn't let anybody storm. off the boat. Yeah. So we missed that. I still haven't been to the Bahamas yet. I want to go there and I want to go to Jamaica. Like, I'd love to take a Jamaican cruise. Yeah. That would be fun. I'd just like to do the whole Caribbean down there. The islands. Yeah. Welcome to the islands, Mom. Yeah, I would love to. Love to. All right, a couple more here, and then we've got to go. Wow, we've already been on here an hour and 17 minutes. Some time to go. It goes so fast. It goes so fast. I could sit here and talk to you guys all night. Like, that's not even a stretch. The other night, the boys were over. If you watched... Uh, I think it was in yesterday's food diary. Kind of lost track of days now because we pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> Bub had two of the guys over here. You've met them before, Roberto and Ricardo. They were here, and they were like, hey, let's just pull an all-nighter. So I think I laid down on the couch for about 20 minutes. I was trying to stay up with them, but I was watching a little movie, and I drifted for probably about 15 or 20 minutes. And then finally, Bub and I crashed about 7.15, 7.30, and the boys went, they laid down about 6.30, hmm. I guess it was. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I, I, can, I can do them all-nighters. I love it. Let's see. I sure will, Juliet. I sure will. <laughs> Jennifer said if she won that that lotto she would went share but her husband said no it is too cold to go get a ticket <laughs> I don't blame him <laughs> it ain't too cold for that <laughs> oh. you could buy you some sunlight <clears throat> 
All right, let's see what Carrie is saying here. An awesome Dillett Walgreens on razors. Buy two Venus Gillette razors. Use the $2 off a of Procter & Gamble coupon and you get back $10 in register rewards. Oh, wow, that is a great deal. I have gotten so many razors from Walgreens on those good deals. Walgreens is an excellent place to get those good deals. Thanks for that tip, Carrie. That is excellent news. Oh, thank you, Francis. I love her nativity tree too. It is just so beautiful. Matter of fact, I didn't I didn't even really show you all the different places that she has some of the nativities in the kitchen, and then she has some out in the the great room, the family room out back there too. Absolutely gorgeous how they've collected all those nativities to put up around the house. Yes. Chowder will have to come have a play date with Gunner. That's for sure. And I don't think he probably would be scared because Gunner is, he he's a little wimpy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he is not aggressive at all. Well, at least not yet. I know we've only had him about four weeks, so he's still kind of getting new to everything. But so far, he's not like, a, he's very passive. Just has a real good disposition. Yeah. yeah, so maybe he wouldn't be scared. I mean, I know he's a lot bigger, but... Oh, really? Ah, uh, her sister-in-law got to go on a cruise to the Bahamas with Toby Mac and the Newsboys. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be fantastic. Toby Mac is one of my all-time favorite artists, you guys. He just had released a new song. The kids were playing it last night, and it is jamming. It is jamming. I love Toby Mac. Good night, Francis. Thanks for joining us. Oh, so the Walgreens employees get an additional 15%? That's cool. So then you can do the deals plus get the percent off? Ah, fantastic. Oh, Susan, I'm sorry to hear about the skin cancer. Yeah, definitely stay out of the sun and protect your skin. We, we use protection around here too because that sun is no joke. That's for sure. All right, good night, Jennifer. Thanks for joining us all, oh, and you are welcome. We have fun with that giveaway. I did see the D I did see the DVDs. Yeah, Sheena, our our Dollar Tree had them, but I didn't get any. I have one or two of Jillian Michaels already here, and I just decided not to pick any of those up right now. Is that her name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jillian yeah. Michaels. The, the workout DVDs we saw the yeah. other night? Yeah. I don't remember that being her last name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's her name. Um, so I didn't pick any up this time around. If they're still there when I go back, I may may grab some, but hers are, hers are really hardcore. <laughs> I mean, hers are almost for if you if you are a fitness expert already type thing. I mean, I can do them. Like, I have a few here of hers. I, I can do them, not a problem. Well, I could. I used to could. Right now, the shape I'm in, I'm not sure that I could have the stamina. But I'm working towards getting back there. So, if they're there when I go back, I may pick them up so that I already have them on hand. You know, whenever I get down just a little bit more in weight. But breathing like you got to have stamina for some of hers because she is hardcore but i tell you what it says like ripped in 30 days you will be if you if you stick with her <laughs> oh did i tell you good night carrie good night if i didn't thanks for joining us sharon is going to get to see willie nelson how old is he now how old is willie nelson now older than dirt he is old. He's getting old. So you're going to have a chance to go see him, huh? Yeah, Sheena, I'm there with you. Good night, Juliet. Blessings to you, too. The 30-minute walk away, the pounds. And you know what? If you don't, can't find any of the DVDs, pull up on YouTube the Walk at Home. The Leslie's, I think it's... You have to type in walk at home first it's walk at home slash leslie sansone and she's put several of hers on there it's not the full dvds you'd have to order the full dvds but she has a couple on there where she's you know like takes one mile out and then the next mile out so what i do is i just do it with one video and then i scroll over and click that next one and still get 30 to 45 minutes in 
the newer ones because I have her older DVDs that I use but then some of her new ones that I don't have the DVDs yet for right there on YouTube and they're free she's put them up there so that's that's another good option for indoor so I'd rather be outdoors I really don't like doing it inside I really don't I showed you guys yesterday I did one inside but if I could be outside that's what I strive to do because a it is a little bit different motion like you can walk the four miles with Leslie Sansone but you get out there and really walk four miles. Remember that day we walked from here to all the way down through Nine Mile? Long way. And that four miles was quite different. <laughs> so it's still better, in my opinion, to get out there and actually walk, you know, and do it do it that way. But but those walk at homes are a great alternative for when you can't get outside. When the kids were little, I loved my DVDs because I could just do it right in here and didn't have to lug them anywhere. So it's really good if you have small kids, but. Oh, well, thank you for that, Sheena. I, I am glad to hear that it's been an inspiration to some of you guys because it's not an easy journey. It's not an easy journey, but if we can inspire each other and do it together, it makes it a little easier nonetheless. So I'm happy to hear that. Thank you very much, Sharon. 85 pounds? Well, you go, girl. That is amazing. That is amazing. She's lost 85 pounds in a year. Wow, that's great. That is awesome. Good job. Keep up that great work. Yeah, having the small kids, definitely some inside walking is going to be good for you. No doubt about it. Good night, Christine. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and say good night, too. We got to get the dog a bath. Yep. <laughs> got to get the dog a bath and finish up some loose ends around here. Be watching. Tomorrow, I'm going to finally have the brow tutorial for you guys. I know y'all been asking for it for months, and so I'm going to have that up. I'm, I'm in the middle of editing it tonight as we speak. And, well, not as we speak, but before and after we speak. <laughs> and then... On Sunday, I should have the get ready with me for this look. Somebody was commenting on this look earlier. So that should be up on Sunday. And be watching on Divine Health tonight for the food diary. You'll get to see the food diary tonight over there. So anything you want to say, Mr. Rose? Then maybe your next video would be a get ready with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about yeah. that? They would, they would watch. They would watch. <laughs> Oh, good night, Kim and Sharon and Amy. <laughs> All right, sounds good, Sheena. That sounds good. Good night, Susan. All right, we're going to go ahead and sign off here. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight, and thanks for joining us for Vlogmas. Congratulations again, Kimberly. I will be contacting you via email about your winnings, and we do appreciate you.